you know, speaking of fascism, the 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 reaction to Elon Musk, and even before that, like the the Biden administration, going back to July of last year, I I, I went back and read some of this stuff because I'm trying to figure out where on earth this uh, Department of Homeland Security Ministry of Truth thing came from, and you know, it started with. Um, the inability of politicians to control the narrative. And because social media liberated all of us to express opinions, it, it, it literally created your voice. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of you. You're, you're, you're public enemy number one because, because you get to think for yourself and, and you have a, you're platformed. You don't have to ask the New York Times or some network TV station for permission. You get to do it for yourself. And to me, that was like, that was the, the libertarian opportunity that people get to think for themselves. They get to discover ideas um, that are relatively unfiltered. I would unfiltered. have never heard about libertarianism if it was not for the internet. I would have never heard of it. It was not taught to me in schools. It was not taught to me as, as like a party. Like it was just Democrat or Republican. Like they never mentioned it at all. Like I just would have never heard about that ideology. Yeah. And, and to me, like I'm trying to look for an upside um, around the fact that that YouTube is banning my videos and and Twitter is deplatforming people that question lockdowns and and this 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 endless level of of uh, sort of political correctness and censorship and now the government has weaponized it um, and I think these things go hand in hand together but to me it it sounds like they're freaking out because because truth and ideas and thinking for yourself, these things are winning. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's sometimes when I get like a, a strike on my channel or a strike on Twitter, I'm like, yeah, like I, it's a little bit like, it's almost like a pat on the back from the overlords. I'm like, well, I'm doing something right. At the same time though, it, of course it does piss me off, but I'm hopeful that with Elon buying Twitter, I'm not gonna follow any billionaire or anyone blindly, you know, just cause Elon says he's for free speech doesn't mean I necessarily trust him, but I am hopeful that there will be changes made. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm in the same boat. Like he, everything he's said about what he wants Twitter to be, he wants it to be a public square. He wants it to be a free speech zone. And to me, that that's why Twitter became a thing in the first place. That's why mm-hmm. Facebook was a thing in the first place because it was, it was open-ended. People could say what they wanted. They could, they could talk to whoever they wanted. Um, but it became very restricted, um, maybe because of uh, corporate advertising dollars, maybe because of being browbeat by the government. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, restricting that is a bad business model. And he's, he's saying that I, I want to I liberate it from that bullshit. Um, maybe he's onto something just as a businessman. That's true. That's true. Just because there's so much in the media of people saying, well, Twitter's not free speech. I'm done with Twitter. I'm going to Parler. I'm going to Gab. I'm going to True Social, like whatever. It could just be a business plan. Have, have you gone to any of those other platforms? Um, I do have a Parler account. I don't use it, um, but I don't have any other accounts. Yeah, I'm, I, I have one too, but I, I don't use it either because to me, the whole point of being on Twitter is you get to talk to people who aren't like you. Right. And so, you know, when every time I logged on, it, it's actually it was much easier for me to get a post, have like a lot of engagement and go viral on Parler back when I did use it a couple of times because everyone there liked what I was saying. And I was like, eh, it's not as fun. Yeah, not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun. So you feed on the hate, don't you? 